What is going on guys? It is your boy Zeph from Cruise Customs and today marks another episode of the Volkswagen Beetle build. Now today we got a little special thing going. We got some rims and we got some spacers, adapter spacers, because we picked up some rims that are amazing for a really cheap price and we needed them to work for the car. So we bought adapter spacers. So it's gonna bring the tire out a little bit more, but we'll get into that because it's for a future video. But we got these amazing rims that I'm about to show you. They're gonna fit on the car once we put these spacers on and today we're gonna knock that out. So we're gonna see, test fit everything and see how everything looks. So let's get into that and let's get into the video. Here are the rims. These have been sitting in our garage for the past couple of weeks. We picked them up from OfferUp and they were a really great deal. We got 20 inch rims with a side profile tire for a really good price and it's very wide. So this is gonna make the car look a heck of a lot better on the actual vehicle. You guys will see right now because I'm about to test fit everything. We got a set of four with tires, but just imagine that on the car right now like that after showing you guys what the rims look like pretty much on the car these are the adapter spacers that we're gonna put on the car so we can actually fit the rims on it so these convert our one by a hundred bolt pattern to a one by 114.3 which is on the rims so these little dotted holes is what we're gonna put into the hub and these little stems are what is going to go into the rim so you guys will see what i'm doing in a second once i put everything up and then we'll do that around the whole car and see how it looks so let's get into that first i got to move the car so that i can get every tire on without having to move it another time because what if something doesn't turn correctly and i can't drive it so let's get on that move the car and set everything up Let's get started, but first thing I wanna do before we get started is fix something that is wrong with the car and that's a little bit annoying. So let's get into that. I'm gonna grab the tool that I'm gonna use and then we're gonna get that off. Here's my trusty dusty tool that I have that I'm gonna use. What I am going to fix is this tint issue on the inside of the car because this is annoying when you are rolling up your windows and rolling down your windows. It makes a clinkly noise every single time. It sounds like you're making fries or something. I don't know, but we're gonna get that off real quick. Issue fixed, now let's see if it actually fixed the issue when there's no crinkly noise when you roll and roll down the window. Hey, we got it. Let's get these wheels and tires on and see how it looks all together. If I don't have perfect angles of the videos or I don't set up the cameras because I don't have a tripod right now because my sister decided to take it but I'm gonna make sure to do what I can best with what I have right now so I'm just gonna use first person perspective pretty much the whole video just letting you know as a disclaimer so yeah Um. 
So now that we got the spacers on, now the wheel can get test fitted and put on and drop down on the ground so we can see what it looks like. So let's get into that, put the wheel on and everything. I'll try to set you guys up as best I can. Now that it is done, now we can lower the car and see how it sits in the front. Let's get it. Whoa. Crazy enough, it doesn't even sit that weird. It's only out just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's kind of nuts because I thought it was going to be out way more than that. That looks good though. Oh my God, look at this. Hey, I'm so happy. Now let's get all the rest of the four done and see how the car looks. So guys, now that everything is pretty much on, I didn't do one side. I didn't do one side of the car because I started looking and the fitment is really good, honestly. It looks like we don't even need a wide body kit, but we're gonna try to do one anyways because the fitment is hella close. The car just looks good in general right now. But the one issue I did see when I was looking at the car is that there is a little lip in between the spacer and the wheel. And I'm thinking it's because of the bolts because I'm not sure what exactly would be holding the wheel back from sitting on the actual hub. It's not sitting flush as you guys can see. Look down here. You see this little lip right here? I don't know why that is there, but we're gonna try to figure it out. I'm gonna try to see if trimming down the bolts will change that, because I think it is sitting on the inside of the wheel. Here, I'll give you a visual representation on the wheels that aren't on the car. So, in the wheel, as you guys can see right here, there is a little lip and dention everywhere around the actual bolt holes. These are where the factory bolts are hitting, in my belief is they're hitting somewhere here or in here and it's not letting the wheel fully touch the car. So I wanna modify that so that there's no stress on the bolts and the wheel doesn't end up breaking a bolt and the wheel flies off of the car and we end up in a crash or something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim down the factory bolts with a Dremel tool and then put them on the car and see if that changes it or makes a difference because it's like that on the back side too. So I'm gonna take these wheels off and then trim down the stuff. But first on the other side, I'm gonna do it and see if that changes anything. And if it does, then we're gonna do it on this side and hope for the best and make this car look better than it already does. So as you guys can see right here, here's the spacer and these are the factory bolts that I placed in it. So you guys can get a visual representation of how far they are sticking out. That's about the lip on on the inside of the wheel is about that much so trimming those down and making them flush with the spacer will probably do the trick and that's what i'm going to do so i'm gonna grab my trusty dusty dremel tool and start cutting away and get this ready i got my trusty dusty 
trusty dusty Dremel tool and we're gonna get to cutting and hopefully this makes it way better than it is. I have marked where I need to cut on each and every single one of my bolts. I'm gonna get a vice grip. And I'm gonna attach it between these vice grips. I'm gonna attach the bolt right here, just like so, just so that I can have a safe grip on it and cut away. So, the Dremel tool idea didn't work because it was going to take too long and it didn't end up cutting the bolt correctly the way I wanted it to. <sighs> I'm going to have to find a different way to get this to work. I'm thinking of maybe running different type of bolts. I'm not sure, but I'll figure it out because I don't think it's safe. <laughs> Safety is the number one priority. On second thought, we could just run it like it is and make it look as best as it can as it can because we can't do this right now because we don't have the right materials. But we're just gonna throw everything onto the car and see how it looks. I did find one rubbing issue, so I'm gonna try to tap that out with the hammer and I'll show you guys that in a second because this, I want the car to look good and I want to drive good. So let's get into all that good stuff. The one main rubbing issue that I found was this one right here. I'm gonna see if I can just tap it out with the hammer and fold it in. It looks like it'll be pretty simple to do that. So that's exactly what I'm gonna try to do. We need to get this wheel to fit perfectly and to ride perfectly. So if that means hammering that down, that's what we're gonna do. So let's get into that. Looks like I got it all hammered back enough to where it probably won't rub. I'm hoping for the best with this. It did crack some of the seam sealer, but that's beyond the point. We're gonna test up this wheel and see if it fits good because I wanna see the car completely done in its form for these wheels and these adapters. So I want to do it, so let's see it. <clears throat> Look at this beautiful bug. Oh, almost done. Almost done getting these wheels to where they don't rub or nothing and we can have it drive a bull. I just gotta get this side done to where it won't rub when I turn. On this back side, as you guys can see, that same lip that I took down, that's what was rubbing. So hopefully everything will be set up good and it'll look amazing. So let's get to it. This is the car all done, finally. Look at this monster, Hey, It looks good, it looks good, I'm gonna go front. But, I got the fender flares that I was gonna put on my car, baby blue, but we're not gonna put them on this car, I'm not, I don't think so, at least yet. I just wanna see how it looks, cause the tire does stick out of the fender just a little bit, and we were thinking about doing a little wide body kit or something to make this car look different than every other car out there. So, these right here are what I was gonna put on my car but I didn't end up doing it because I didn't like how it looked. I like the clean body. This right here, I don't know if a fender flare would do it because of the body lines being weird. I don't think it would look good in my part. So we're gonna try to decide what we're gonna do, but the car is all done. It looks good and I'm happy with the finished product, honestly. Honestly, finished, happy with the finished product. So we're gonna do a little walk around so you can see the whole car and appreciate it a little bit. A day of hard work really pays off 
when you know what you're doing or actually I take that back I don't even know what I'm doing so if you don't know what you're doing just have fun with it like I do and make the best out of it because look now this car looks amazing and I'm happy with it but other than that guys I hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you guys enjoyed putting on the adapters and the wheels because it looks amazing put down in the comics other things we should do to this car other modifications and stuff that we could do ourselves stuff like that so hope you guys did enjoy please like the video just subscribe if you guys are new because if you subscribe it helps me out as well help you out because you'll stay up to the build and you'll get the newest and greatest videos out of this channel so hope you guys did enjoy peace out and stay looking good